what's up guys so we have a 2011 bmw 328i that we're going to be loading up right now it doesn't run and drive the customer doesn't have a tow hook um but that's okay i don't use them anyway So we have this new bridle that we got from DG Racing Technology. I'll put a link in the description. This is a really cool bridle. I will be doing a review on this bridle. So this particular bridle has two hookups here. So you can hook up here if you need it longer. You can hook up there. Or if you need it shorter, you can hook up there. So you can just put it on the car and then see where it's at. All right, so now on these particular bridles, when I use them, I like to put them face down to go over the arms. Now BMWs don't really have a lot of areas to hook up to as far as arms, uh, but because this one rolls and we're not dragging it, it'll be fine. If I have to drag it, I usually grab it from the frame underneath. Alright, so as you can see, I'll take the camera off so I can show you. So we are over like that, which keeps the metal from hitting the bottom of the car when you're bouncing around on the bed or whatever. Alright, so that's how that side is hooked up. Go that way like that. And then when you pull here, you'll see that you have room. If it's too long, you can always go to that one. Uh, just first time trying it out. And I definitely want to say thank you to DG Racing Technologies for sending it out to me. Um, now I do have an axle bridle, but I've seen this axle bridle on his, uh, on his Instagram. And I fell in love with the idea that it's three bridles in one. Um, so, I thought that was cool. All right, so we turn the wheel that way to hook up that side. We'll turn the wheel this way so we can work comfortable. And uh, I'll show you guys. The car does roll, so I'm not worried about dragging anything and putting too much pressure on anything because it's literally gonna be pulled up the bed. Okay, so that's hooked up. And now we can pull the car. Sometimes they clear, sometimes they don't because they're low. So what we're gonna do is try to get it as soon as possible. See if it, all right, it's in neutral, which is good. Parking brake is off, steering wheel's not locked. So, okay. Now we'll see if it uh, touches or not. If it touches them, we'll just put some wood and ramps and stuff. Possibly ready to sit for a while. Well, you see how nice the bridle is? It's not uh, gonna scrape up the uh, bottom of the bumper like you would with chains. Now keep in mind, I do have 
the uh, airbags drop. Uh, I usually drop them for a bunch of stuff, but we cleared perfectly good. You see, no chains scratching the uh, bumper, which is awesome. That rear tire is locked up. There we go. So sometimes if the rear tires are locked up, it's probably because it's been sitting for a while and the parking brake is stuck. So you can pull it forward and then you know go back with it. And if you go back and forth with it, most of the times it'll just lock, it'll release because it just locked up. And that's it. Now we gotta load it up, plenty of room in the front. Now we'll strap it up and we're good to go. All right, so I'll see you when I uh, drop. leave one strap on um, I took everything out from that side already because the guy wanted to the shop owner wants it close to the fence and once they get it really close to the fence I'm not gonna even get to that side so I figured let me unstrap that whole side including the bridle so that I can have access to it on this side and not have to go over there uh, all right so that side is off Take off this one last. And it was my phone. Here's the key, you got it, brother. Right. Let me just disconnect everything, all yeah, right? Go. I put the uh, parking brake on. All right, perfect. All right, so I always like to uh, free spool it. Bring the bed down like this, give myself a little bit extra room. Start to work. Right, so normally I would tie, I would loosen this, turn the steering wheel, so I can get access to it. But pretty ba back there is pretty much open, so all I did was unhook it. I know it's not getting caught in anything. And that's that. I'll take these off because we're gonna go get another vehicle that's gonna require the regular bridle. All right, so what I like about this axle bridle is that you have different setups. So you have like this, where you can put it this way, or if you need it longer, you can put it there, all right? And then, you know, 
that's your setup right there so I, I do like the fact that it has two of these um that you could hook up to all right so that's that um and then again i will be making a video going over everything so these are made in the usa it's diamond weave material stitch on the knees um, but there it goes right there uh, 3,333 pounds working the limit so it's definitely a awesome attachment well I keep saying attachment but definitely an awesome uh, bridle so I'll show you in a little bit uh, all the attachments that go on it all right guys so I want to talk to you about this bridle all right, so my day's done. I'm ready to go home. Um, so the cool thing about this bridle is that not only does it have, you know, one hook up here, like a normal axle bridle. So let's say you hook up the car, it's too short. This is gonna hit the bumper. Obviously you don't want that. So you can come down here and hook up to that one and you'll get more room. All right, so when I, load, when I use these, I don't use them with the hooks up or anything like that. I use it the other way um, so that it's sitting this way so that nothing's hitting the bottom of the car. All right, so now the good thing about this is that normally you would have multiple bridles. You'd have one bridle that's a cluster bridle that would have one of these on the end of it. You would have another bridle that would have J hooks on it. Then you would have another bridle that would be an axle strap, right? Or an axle bridle. So that's three different bridles, right? So now if you have this set up, check this out. If you need to use J hooks, you can simply feed this through latch it here now you have a j-hook bridle all right so that you can hook up to the control arm another cool thing about it you can take this out and you can put a cluster put it up and now you have a cluster setup this is a tool that you can use and have multi-function so it has a multi-purpose to it so you have your axle right your axle v bridle you have the cluster then you have the j hook so if you got a wreck you can use a j hook you got a regular car you can use your t hook your r hook or your forged j hook so it's really cool because you know again you can use it many different you know different ways which is freaking awesome so i definitely think it's well worth the money um on the online on the site it's uh, i believe 185 bucks it's diamond weave material which you already know how i am about diamond weave i'm always bragging about it so you got the diamond weave here you got another protective sleeve in there all right um now this here it does show a working load limit of 30 uh 3333 pounds um but from what i was told it's actually rated for more all right and then you have your protective sleeve here all around it's stitched it's not going to move it's not going to go anywhere and on every single uh you know attachment has protective uh protective sleeve inside you see this one has it here this one has it here all right when you're not using it you simply do like i do here take it like that fold it up put it away and then you can put these away in the toolbox now one of the great benefits of this that i actually like is that you can have a three-in-one bridle which means you don't have to carry all the other bridles um me personally i'm still going to keep all the other bridles because if i get a wreck obviously i'm not going to want to use this because i don't want this getting cut torn or anything like that this would be mostly for like exotic cars um stuff like that so that you don't have to worry um as you seen earlier in my video i was using it on a bmw right around the control arms no problems so again when i use them i use them this way all right so this part goes over the control arm comes back and latches to here and the control arm sits here all right but i use them on this back one here and that's that so i think it's a really really good product i'm super stoked about it and i'm glad that they sent it to me and um you know so i'll put the link in the uh, description down below the guy's name is david 
All right, uh, DG Racing Technology. Um, thank you for sending this out to me. I'm super stoked about it. I hope everybody buys one. I mean, honestly, it's three different bridles in one and you can't beat that. So imagine having just this, like this, in the toolbox and then these in a bin. So that's three in one versus having three whole different bridles in different bins and stuff like that. So again, I, I mean, obviously I have all this equipment, so I'm gonna keep it, I'm not getting rid of it. I normally, I have a regular axle bridle. Um, but it only has, you know, the one loop. This one I like because it's adjustable. So if you get a small car, you can, you know, adjust it. If you get a long car, you can put this one further back and have this clear the front bumper. So guys, go check it out. I'll put the website down in the uh, description. I'll also link his Instagram page. I, he's got a Facebook page. I'll, I'll link that as well. Um, so check it out. And also, if you do decide to purchase it from the website, a coupon code TOMAN127, and you'll get a little discount. So... Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please give that video a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.